So guys, last time I spoke to you, I mentioned we were going to take a visit to our Sutwin. Now Sutwins are found in Ringforts. So we're going to head up to this Ringfort there in a couple of seconds. Okay, but Ringforts are found all over Ireland. There are over 45,000 Ringforts recorded on the island of Ireland. They're protected homesteads, protected farmsteads. Royalty would have lived inside them. They would have had big wooden palisades around them. Uh, these palaces were for protection. A lot of cattle raiding was going on at this time as well. But of course, where do they get their names from? They get their names from the simple big ditches that are dug around them. Our Ringfort here in the park has one ring around it, or one ditch, so it's a unique valued Ringfort. Most Ringforts would have had two or three rings around them. So guys, here we are at the Ringfort, and as promised, we're going to go in and see the Sutrin. So if you want to follow me in here to the farmer's house. So here we are guys, I'm going to open our trap door down to our Sutrin. And it's pitch black down there, so I need a flashlight and I'll meet you down in the suit red. Here we are down underground in our suit red. And that's exactly what a suit red is. Suit red, translated from the French, means underground or underground passage. There's over anywhere from three and a half to four thousand suit terrains recorded in Ireland. Not every ring fort would have had them. Some of them would have been directly underneath the building like we have here. Some of them were found in fields on their own where there once would have been a ring fort. Unfortunately, that ring fort was, has been knocked down. Um, there are 12 Sioux terrains recorded here in County Wexford. For example, in County Cork alone, there's over, well over a thousand. So the largest concentration of Sioux terrains in Ireland. But you will find them in every single county in the country. Some Sioux terrains went from one ring fort to another one, like the uh, one in Kilkenny. Some of them were built, dug into the bedrock. Some of them were dug into ground. They would have been stone lined like our one here. Some of them were lined with timbers, okay? That we've actually found a lot of uh, ohm stones underground in these uh, Sioux terrains as well. Ohm stones would have been used as lintels, basically, like I'm touching here, for basically for the roof of these uh, underground pasta or these Sioux terrains. So they were just storing their food underneath. These were a lot of these farmers were dairy farming, uh, dairy farmers, uh, cattle were very important. So they're storing their dairy produce, storing their meats down here. They would have been storing other types of food down here as well. Now, the reason people believe they were used for storage is because the temperature remains uh, anywhere from three to five degrees all year round inside these Sioux terrains. So guys, that was our suit train in our ring fort. The next time here at the History Hut, we're going to talk about Olmstones. And if you remember, I did mention Olmstones in our suit train today. And I'm also going to talk about the Romans. And did the Romans actually come to Ireland? If you're interested in finding out if there's a suit train where you live, go on to the uh, National Monument Service or archaeology.ie.